Moonshine has been a part of North Carolina's history for more than 200 years now, and it's not just been a fixture in the mountains. Just outside of Benson, one man is making corn mash whiskey much the same way his great-great-grandparents did way back when. If a tasty, powerful, home-brewed whiskey is something you'd like to sample, Rick Sullivan says you just might get a kick out of Broad Slab Distillery. My granddad uh, lived here where the tasting room and gift shop is. He was a farmer. I grew up with him, helping him in the fields and stuff. He told me the stories about, you know, his bootlegging days. And, the, you know, I think he started going to the steel when he was five, got his own steel when he was 13. Um, so his uncles, brothers, half-brothers, grandfather, you know, all of them were whiskey makers. And today, Jeremy Norris follows that family tradition with a legal version of the recipe for moonshine. We grow our own corn and we pr produce everything from dirt to bottle. But we try to make the very best product possible. Um, but the equipment's the same, the ingredients are the same, the process is the same, the recipe's the same. But there's no comparison when it comes to his grandfather's facilities and what Jeremy works with now. Built by hand, Jeremy has captured the essence of the family's history, but he's created a museum quality experience that includes the storefront, the distillery, and even forested areas where a wood plank road used to allow his grandfather to hide the still from public view. Really, that's where I got my start. When Jeremy is not producing and shipping product, he's giving private tours of these facilities and offering stories of his family history all the while. There's history behind the name, there's history behind this farm, there's history behind the recipe that we actually bottle. Um, and I'm trying to stay as true to the heritage and the old way of doing things as possible. The Broad Slab Distillery puts out several variations of spirits, including the reserve for which Jeremy is most proud. He dares you to take it on the rocks and be prepared for a surprisingly smooth effect. We make a high quality, authentic spirit. It is my granddaddy's recipe and we do do it in a traditional equipment, but the process and everything we go through to make it is very, very smooth. Um, we're, it's not rough. Uh, you can do a lot of different neat things with it, you know, moonshine margaritas to strawberry muddled mix. Recently, I put Broad Slab's Legacy Shine to the test as the featured drink at a cocktail party in my neighborhood. My wife, Lisa, blended in watermelon juice and lemonade and we served it up to our friends, many of whom had never sampled moonshine. It was a big hit. Back at the distillery, Jeremy offers liberal samplings as part of his tours. But to buy the bottles, you'll need to go to the local ABC store. Jeremy plays by the rules, but he makes no apologies for the bootlegging history of his family. Nobody can deny it. elections were won off of bootleg whiskey. So there was elections won, college educations paid for, churches built, uh, business, legitimate businesses started. Um, and around here in rural North Carolina, um, there would have been a lot more po poverty back in the uh, depression and the tough times if it wasn't for bootleg whiskey. Broad Slab Distillery is located just outside of Benson at 4834 North Carolina Highway 50 South. The tasting room is open Thursday through Saturday from noon to five, but tours run at 12, two and four. And if you're late, you'll miss the tram ride. For more information, you can reach them at 919-291-0691 or find them online at broadslabdistillery.com.